everybody welcome back again this is uh battalion chief jc white of the nyc fdrp serious role playing department here again in manhattan on the upper west side as you see in the background the smoke of the earlier 1075 that i uh hopefully you will enjoy that video that's still airing out no sooner did the uh crews get back to quarters and we received this next ticket uh, in the early morning hours of today. Engine 30, engine 78, squad 28, ladder 75, ladder 70, uh, ladder 57, and battalion 5 were on the ticket for this first alarm to a school fire in the classroom. Box 1241, 41 West 125 Street at Riverside Parkway, fire in the classroom. Uh, engine 30, and ladder 75 were the first two companies with engine 78 and ladder 57 second due. Squad 28 uh, was delayed and rescue 9 responded in their place with battalion 5. Upon 1084, uh, engine 30 uh, drove into the ground area where there was a hydrant. Uh, crews uh, were having difficulty with the hydrant was a dead hydrant and required a 1070 water relay. Engine 78 went 1084, hooked up a supply successfully, and stretched out the three and a half inch supply line. Now I don't know if it has it in the tutorials. Um, I know I had some uh, problems hooking up a supply line in the past. And this I'm gonna just sh show you guys with regards to uh, the fire has been knocked down and um, and everything's you know going was going it's gone good and this is another successful operation for uh, the developers and our community uh, I had 57 block traffic traffic in my response traffic is low settings fantastic settings with regards to my graphics and I've expanded the view so traffic behaved I hooked up my supply my supply line 278 as you notice in this all my lights are green I have an inlet a discharge connect attack and a pumper I do not have an attack line connected to this rig I do not have the two and a half inch and I'm just going to go ahead and keep the pump going and my tank is full the key is when you set up your three and a half inch line if any of you are wondering how do we set up I never get water the hoses don't work well as you can tell the hoses are charged they're inflated they got water got a couple of little kinks over there which we really that's what the backup man would be a correction that would what a control man would be taking care of these kinks so that we don't uh, uh, re lose water pressure this is where you want to set up your three and a half inch line on your on your line you want to set it up to uh, one of these babies one of these large um, uh, connection uh, discharge connections points you will set up to three and a half on this side of the rig I brought my three and a half inch line and the first time I did it I hooked it up to this back connection uh, this discharge on this back connection back here at the back of the rig I stretched my two and a half inch attack line off a of 30 and you can see some of the remnants of it and you can actually see the tail end of it right here uh, as it's slaying outside of the classroom in, in the front door as I set it up and had my nozzle going I didn't have any water I then took the three and a half inch relay line I disconnected it from the rear step area and I put it on the right side large dis discharge lines here on the right side okay no can do then disconnected it again and I connected the three and a half inch line at the lower uh, valve down at the bottom on the left side of the control panel I had my attack line set up and as you can see 
all my lights are green my water volume is full and also 78 engine all their lights are green water volume full both engine companies have their pumps going nozzle up and there you have it you've got water and a successful water relay okay so in in summary your three and a half inch line is going to be set up at your relay the engine that is connected at the hydrant with the supply water at the hydrant which is our 78 engine the three and a half inch relay line will be connected to the large discharge on the right side or the or the intake uh, supply valves on the right side of your engine you stretch that three and a half inch line to the engine you want to supply the water to in this case it's engine 30 you connect your three and a half inch line to the very low you connect your three and a half inch to the lowest intake valve on your control side left side of your engine you connect your two and a half inch attack line to the I'm, I would be safe to say you connected at either discharge valve left right or the front you should be able to be good to go with the water I haven't tested it but well let's see so let's go ahead and holster we'll holster that drop that let's go ahead and turn off our pump let's go ahead and try to only disconnect the two and a half oh nope. put that back nope being stubborn okay well then we'll we'll do it this way then go ahead and uh, well shoot I can't do it that way either hmm. well let's see oh what are you doing come on get over here okay well we'll just go put that there <laughs> Gonna get a little creative here. And let's see if we can there. Okay, I don't know what that other guy's gonna do, but let's see. What happens when we Do I have water? Okay. So it does work on that. Okay. So I basically just took off one of my links. I couldn't disconnect it at that dischar discharge point. But I was able to uh, connect it there. Uh, from the right side of the apparatus on the two and a half inch... Uh, discharge and I got water okay so let's do this again let's do one more test and I'll let this uh, video uh, uh, load up and I'll post it so turn off the pump go ahead and uh, disconnect our uh, our nozzle so what we're gonna do we're gonna drop a line let's go get fancy here I'm gonna try something here Come on. Uh, don't freeze up on me, boys. Come on, you've been running good. Come on. 
My frame rates are like at 11. All this hose. The hoses kill your frame rates. I'm running a uh, Intel 5. I've got a 1070 uh, N a NVIDIA GTX. I think it's GTX graphics card. And I'm running about 3.2 gigahertz. Fifth gen. Uh, I think it's like 47 something. You know, I'm not a computer guy, but you know. So anyway, so let's see if we can do this. And what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to, I'm going to try to pull out this ground monitor. And I'm going to try to set it up and see if we can. Uh, I don't know how I got the Halligan in my hand. I didn't ask for the Halligan. I didn't want the Halligan. But I got it anyway. Okay, so we got that. You. Okay, now let's. See if we can do this. There we go. There we go. Okay, we set that up. Let's put back this Halligan tool. Maybe we can get another, and I didn't even open up the roll-up door, and I got the Halligan tool. I think we need to change up some uh, hotkeys. You know what I mean? Maybe. 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 Connect that. So like this. See if we can do this. There we go. I need to do some more, uh, I guess I need to do some more, um, oh, am I connected? No, I'm not. I guess I need to do some more training with this ground monitor. Because, uh, because I don't know how to turn it on. So, that's going to be the next video. How to utilize the ground monitor. I'm not going to sit here and take anybody's more time. But anyway, this video here, guys, in, and gals, it uh, showed a successful water relay from uh, an engine company out on the street, stretching the three and a half inch line, connecting it to the, uh, the supply intake on the right side of the rig. And then... Uh, and then the two and a half inch uh, attack line from the rig out. This is uh, Battalion Chief J.C. White of the NYC FD RP role playing department. Thank you guys. I'll see you on the next call.